हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नॉलेज इज पावर टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ डिफरेंट ईसीजीज फर्स्टली वील सी द पिक्चर ऑफ द नॉर्मल ई सी जी फॉलोड बाई द एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ द डिफरेंट ई सी जीज एज वेल एज द कंडक्शन सिस्टम ऑफ द हार्ट बेसिकली वील सी द बीट्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट कंडक्टिंग सिस्टम ऑफ आर हार्ट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस प्रोसीड विद द एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ऑफ द डिफरेंट ई सी जीज पिक्चर्स सो बाई विजुअलाइजिंग द डिफरेंट पिक्चर्स यू कैन easily remember the different ecg abnormalities and it will be helpful for you all during your 5a exam as well as the image based questions during your entrance examination so hope you guys will cooperate me till the end and if any queries you have then you can comment down in the comment section below after the end of the video the first abnormality in the ecg that we'll see in the picture is the ventricular ectopic beats Second picture in this video is the supraventricular tachycardia on an ECG. So there are three abnormalities. One is the atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, followed by the supraventricular tachycardia. The next picture in this video is the ventricular tachycardia on an ECG. So one is the polymorphic ventricular tachycardia or torsets D point is then monomorphic ventricular tachycardia. So in this lecture we'll discuss only about the pictures and we'll not go into the deep explanation for today. Next abnormality in the ECG is the types of atrioventricular block on an ECG. Here it comes the first degree atrioventricular block, then Mobitz type one block, Mobitz type two block, and third degree atrioventricular block. Now we'll discuss the different ECG changes in case of the mineral imbalance. So first ECG changes is hypokalemia. In case of hypokalemia, we will see ST depression segment, flat inverted T wave. Then we will see U wave. Then coming for the hyperkalemia, we will see flat P wave. Then we can see prolonged PR interval. Then we will see QRS widening. Then we will see tall peaked T wave. Then coming for the hypokalemia, in this case we will see prolonged ST segment. then prolonged qt interval then coming for the hypercalcemia we will see shortened st segment then widening of the t wave then coming for the hypomagnesemia we will see tall t wave then again we will see st depression then coming for at last the hypermagnesemia here we will see the prolonged pr interval and qrs widening so qrs widening is common in case of hypermagnesemia hyperkalemia then st depression we will see in hypomagnesemia as well as the hypokalemia now coming for the end of this video we will discuss about the normal ecg so in the ecg reading the p wave the normal duration is 0.11 second and here the cardiac activity it shows atrial depolarization then coming for the qrs complex the normal duration is 0.08 to 0.12 second and it shows ventricular depolarization then coming for the t wave it shows ventricular repolarization the st segment it shows the time during which ventricles have contracted at last the normal duration for pr interval is 0.12 second to 0.20 second hope you guys got brief idea by watching the different pictures of different abnormalities in the ecg so if you watch this video repeatedly obviously you will remember the abnormalities of different ecg and obviously you all can memorize this ecg readings and for your future examination in case of image based questions you can definitely tick the correct mcqs and obviously will get good marks in your examination part 2 of the video is coming soon so guys till then stay tuned with my youtube channel and for more such videos please like share and subscribe and suggest in the comment section below and obviously you should share among your friends so that maximum of the students they get to know about the normal ecg as well as the different pictures of abnormal ecgs and obviously it will help you all thank you for watching this video